Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So till now we have determined the coordinates of our already plotted point. So we have seen that some points were already plotted for us and we have determined the coordinates. Let's plot the point now. We The coordinates will be given and let's try to plot the points. Let's try to plot, let's suppose uh, 4 comma 3. So first Let's put the axis as per Cartesian system. This is zero. This is x axis. This is y axis. This is zero comma zero. This is one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four. This is x dash negative minus one, minus two, minus three minus 4. Please pay attention here and practice for this a lot. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1. So we are done with plotting the uh, creating the coordinates. So once we have this uh, the whole Cartesian coordinate system now x and y axis with the points let's try to plot this 4 comma 3. So this is nothing but x and y. So what is x? distance along x-axis. So along x-axis that is something along this line. Right? Something along this line that means it can be either here, four point, it can be here, it can be here, it can be here. I don't know. Right? This is distance along x-axis. Okay? So it can be any of these points. All these points are actually, if you see, has x coordinate as four. All these points. Let me draw this point. All these points has x coordinate as 4. Okay. So it will be either of these points because all these points has x coordinate as 4 because distance along x axis is 4 for all these. This is done. Okay. The next is y. y is 3. y is distance along y axis. So distance along y axis is this point. Right? So it can be this point, it can be this point, it can be this point. You see, all these points which I am drawing has y coordinate as what? 3. This is the only common point you see here. So this is my 4 comma. So what I did was one way of all the points which is possible 4 with x coordinate as 4 are these. All the points with possible y as 3 are these. If you draw this, this is the only point which has which is common to both the set. So this is 4 comma 3. Okay. One way. And if you see here, if you see this point now uh, from our previous experience, this point distance along y axis is 4. So this distance is 4. So it is x is 4 and distance along x axis if you see this distance is 3. So this is 3, this is 4 comma 3. Okay, so to plot what we did was we plotted all the points which has x coordinate as 4 and plotted all the points which has x coordinate as 3. The common that is 4 comma 3. Okay, that is one way of doing it. Let me try to solve this in another way. Okay, so the point was 4 comma 3. So let's Point was 4 comma 3. So again let's plot these points. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is x axis. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is y axis. Right? So I'm not uh, plotting other point because not required for now. So if you want, let's plot only. Minus 4, minus 1, minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 okay so 4 comma 3 what you can do is at 4 put a dot at 3 put a dot now if you draw a perpendicular line like this if you draw a perpendicular line like this it will meet at a point and this point is 4 comma 3 pretty easy okay now this is the easiest way 
let's plot let's suppose uh, minus 2 comma minus 3 okay so let's see where is minus 2 along x along x minus 2 is this point what is minus 3 along y is this point and if you draw the perpendicular line like this like this it will meet at this point so this point if you see is minus 2 comma minus 3 okay let's plot some other point so let's plot now 4 comma minus 1 so let's plot 4 in the x-axis this point minus 4 in the y-axis this point so if we draw this perpendicular lines here they will meet here they will meet here so this point is 4 comma minus 1 pretty easy let's take one more example for this quadrant let's try to plot minus 3 comma 4 so let's plot along x minus 3 along x minus 3 is this point along y 4 this point so if you draw these lines like this right, they will meet at this point so this point is minus 3 comma so plotting a point if the coordinates are given is all the more easier actually right so you know minus 3 comma minus 4 plot minus 3 find minus 3 in x find 4 in y and draw the perpendicular line they will meet at this point this is minus 3 comma 4 same for 4 comma 3 find 4 in the x axis this is the only point in the x axis which has 4 find 3 in the y axis this is the only point in the y axis which is 3 this is minus 3 actually if you see and these two points if you have you just draw a perpendicular and you get this point ok same thing for 4 comma minus 4 along uh, point in x 4 point in y minus 4 and they all meet at this point this is 4 comma minus 4 ok so we will take some numerical now we have to locate these points in the graph for this let us first create this graph this is 0 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 and this is x this is x dash minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is y. 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, this is minus 5. And this is y dash. This is my system. Okay. Okay. So let's try the first one. 5 comma 0 which is the point 5 in x the only point in 5 in x is this right in x you have this is minus 5 this is 5 this is the only point which is 5 in x 0 in y 0 in y is what this point this is 0 in x 0 in y so if you draw a perpendicular line like this and like this it will meet here only this is my point x is 5, y is 0. So, it is 0, 5. x 0, this is the point x 0. And y 5 is this point. So, if we draw a perpendicular line where these two lines meet, one line like this and one line like this, this is the only point. So, this is 0, 5. This is done. Now, let us draw 2, 5. So, for 2, 5, x is 2 x is 2, y is 5, y is 5. So, we draw a perpendicular line like this and like this. Like this. So, it will meet at this point. Right? So, this will be 2 comma 5. Okay? So, 2 in x, 5 in y and they will meet at 2 comma 5. Okay. okay, let's take 5 comma 2. So x we have to find 5, that is this point. And y we have to find 2, that is this point. So we draw lines like this and lines like this. So it will meet at this point. 
okay this will be i put see there is no confusion so the point which is on the x you have to draw a line so if the point is in the y you have to draw a line parallel to x because if you draw a line like this there is no point same thing the point which is in the x you have to draw a line parallel to y or perpendicular to x okay so this is 5.2 Let's take minus three comma five. So x is minus three, this point. Y is five, this point. So if we join these points, if we draw a perpendicular line like this, like this, they'll meet at this point. So this is minus three comma. So let me take minus three minus five. X is minus three at this point. Y is minus five at this point. So if we draw a perpendicular line like this and like this. So in this case, it will meet at this point. Okay. Okay. So this is minus three minus. Same. Similarly, uh, five comma minus three. X is five. Is this point? Y is minus three. Is this point? Then you will draw these lines, and they will meet at these points. So this is five comma minus three. Okay. So we have one more numerical variable. We have to plot these points x and y, and we see the points are eight, seven, minus three. So let's create the system like this: one, and create somewhere one here, two here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is x. X dash similarly negative will take. One minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus eight minus nine. Okay, six minus four. One minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus like that. Similarly, here also we'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Here also same thing. One minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten. Okay. So let's first plot the point minus two comma eight. So let's first draw this point. X is minus two. This is the point. Y is a Is the point. So we draw all these lines here and these lines here. It will meet somewhere. Correct. Right? So we draw like this, lines like this, and lines like this. This will meet here. So this is the first point, minus two comma eight. Okay. Let's draw the second one, minus one comma seven. X is minus one. Is this point. Y is seven. Is this point. Right. If we draw these lines, it will meet somewhere here. We draw a line like this, and here straight line somewhere here. It will meet here. This point is minus one. Come, yeah. Okay. Next, zero comma minus one point two five. X is zero. Y is minus one point two five. This is one minus one, and minus one point two five is somewhere here. So this point is. Zero comma minus one point two. Let's take this. X is one. Y is three. X is one is this point. Y is three is this point. We draw the perpendicular lines. It will meet somewhere. Yeah. This is one comma three. Let's take the three comma minus one. X is three is this point. Y is minus one is this point. We draw these points to meet somewhere here. This comma is point is three comma is so pretty easy to plot. Okay, so let's see the summary of this chapter. Pretty easy chapter. We have seen that to locate the position of object in the point in the plane, we require two perpendicular lines. Right, one of them is horizontal, the other is vertical, and this plane is called Cartesian system. And these, this is name after D Cartes. Or it is also called coordinates plane. Okay, 
and these lines are called coordinates axis and these horizontal lines are called x axis and y axis and these coordinate axis actually divide this plane into four quadrants so we have seen that let me draw it here so this is four this is x axis this is y axis x x dash y y dash first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so let it be the number 1 2 3 and 4 right this plane this whole plane is called cartesian plane or coordinate plane right and the lines are called coordinates axis okay and the point of intersection of these axes is called origin and the distance of the point from y axis is called x coordinate along x axis or it is also called abscissa and the distance of the point from x axis along y axis is called y coordinates or called ordinate also okay so if abscissa of the point is x and ordinate is y then we denote this point by x comma y with the bracket here and a comma here that is how we denote the point okay the coordinates of the point on the x axis from uh, are of the form x comma 0 because they are on the x axis and the coordinates that are on the y axis for example these these x, these coordinates will be of the form x comma 0 so these these part, these will be on the form x comma 0 and these will be these will be of the form y comma 0 so 0 comma y because here x point is 0 in all these and y has some values in this case x has some values and y has the value 0 right it is x comma 0 and 0 comma y please note it is not y comma 0 it is 0 comma y and the origin is this is the origin this is 0 comma 0 okay and we also seen that if you see the first quadrant you will get x and y both positive second quadrant x is negative y is positive third quadrant both x and y is negative fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative and please note if x and y are not equal then x y is not equal to y x for example we have seen that 2 comma 3 is not equal to 3 comma 2 something we have seen but 2 comma 2 is equal to 2 comma 2 where x is equal to y okay thank you Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.